Hello, welcome to the second tutorial of modxtutorials.com. Um, in the previous tutorial, we uh, set up our, uh, prepared our computer to install Modix. Uh, we had some local files on our desktop. We copied them online to a website or a folder online. Um, and we created a database with this name. You have probably created your own name, of course. Okay, let's go um, to install Modix. Um, my domain is modxtutorial.com slash my site. So I'm gonna add that. modxtutorials.com slash my site. Uh, S is a capital, I believe. Uh, I made an error to tutorials.com my site. You will see an error. But this shows that modx is there. Um, now go enter setup and press enter. And I already get an error. I see that something is wrong. Um, please make sure that there's a public my site core cache directory and it should be writable. Let's check about that. My site core cache. Um, this is the my site core. And there is a cache, but it's probably not writable. So let's check that. And as you can see, they're not writable. It needs to be a 0777 um, assignment. Um, this is this works in uh, Fire FTP by right-clicking on the file, selecting properties, including contents, and here you'll see the permissions. So that's important. Um, if I now refresh, I should be able to see the Revolution install page. Okay, I want to install in English. Click Next. Next again. And here you'll see some basic stuff. I want to create a new installation, so that's correct. Click Next again. And here I need the database information. Um, my login name is um, this one. So enter your login name for your um, database, your password of course, and the database um, name. Um, and this you just created, that's for me it's this. So let's go here and now you can check it. And it should be fine, it's successful. The character, um, I'm in normal Europe, so uh, I want UTF-8 and uh, UTF-8 bin, and this should work. Yep, and it checks. If there's any problems, you can always go to the Modix forum and ask questions about this. These can be language settings or local settings, or perhaps your database is not correctly created. So check about that. Now you can create an admi administrator username. I just like to use my own name. Oh. Enter an email address, uh, maybe my Gmail. Actually, yeah. And enter the password. And click next. Um, it now does all kinds of checks, and as you can see, some have failed, and that's due to my uh, my FTP system. Uh, I have folders by default not be able to be written so that's my problem you might not have this problem I have to check public my, co my site core export it should be writable so core export so let's see core and this is the export folder uh, this one and this should be writable let's see if that works I did it wrong export this one as well Okay, that one is okay. I need core packages, should be writable as well. Core packages. Well, I mean core, and here's packages. And I should uh, make that one writable as well. That one's okay. And the last one is core config and config inc.php. It should exist and it should be writable. So config. And as you can see, there's no file there. I should create a file called configinc.php. Um, so let's m firstly make the folder writable, the config. No, actually not, let's not. <laughs> let's just open Notepad or any other text editor. So I'm going to open, uh, where is it? Notepad. And I'm going to save 
let's just leave it empty on my folder. The desktop, my site, core, config, and I'll save it as that, config.inc.php. And if we now refresh, it's there on the local site, you can copy it to your main site. Now again, give it the correct properties, make it writable. So that's it, and it should work right now. And everything checks out okay right now. Let's press install. MLX was installed successfully. It doesn't give any errors, so that's fine. Click next. And there's an important note. There were certain files not created, and I'm going to create those now. Public HTML, my sites, assets. Let's see if it's there. Um, my site, assets. There's no folder called assets, so I'll do it on my uh, local page as well. Create directory, assets. And I'll copy it online and I'll make it writable. The next item is um, components. So public HTML, my site, assets, components. I'll copy the name, Ctrl C. I'll create a new one, components. And I'll copy it to my online folder. Properties and make it writable. And finally, there's another one. Um, core, so my site core components as well. We need that one. Yeah, that one as well. So let's go up again. My site core, and core, and I have to create a directory here called components. Copy it, find, and make it writable. All right. Now it should be fine. Thank you for installing ModX. Here you can delete the setup directory. Uh, I won't at the moment, but it might be wise to do so. Uh, if you delete the setup directory, nobody can mess with it, and nobody, nobody from the outside can cancel it, and you cannot cancel it by accident as well. On the other hand, if you want to update easily, it might be easier to keep it. So just uh, well decide for yourself or ask on the forum. Press login. Right, and here you can log in with your information. So I use my name and a password. I want to be remembered and I log in. And this is the screen for your system. After you've clicked away the welcome screen, you have this system. Um, this is the main CMS system. Uh, let me just make it a little bit less wide. It's very nice. Uh, you can manage all the elements without refreshing the page. It has nice drop downs with all the settings. Um, and if you right click on home and you click on preview, it will open your page. And this is your website. This is my site and the home. As you can see, there's no content here. Let me just show you how that works in the very basics. Just this is the page and the title is home. We just put here this is content and press save and if we refresh it says this is the content so that's the really really basic system all right so that's the basic installation modix is installed we have one page with a very little content but it works so thank you for watching next time we're going to set up modix